hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle hi I hope everybody is well today I'm going to be doing the latest uh, travel news worldwide part two so just before we get into it if you please press the red and white subscribe button it is free and click the notification bell um it's all base uh, basically give you an indication every time i upload a video and it's usually between at least three to six times a week so if you do that um, I'd be really gra uh, grateful um, I'm looking to make uh, 2,000 subscribers as soon as possible so I've got well over 1,500 but I'm looking to get that extra 500 more subscribers as soon as possible so let's jump right into it then according to breakingtravelnews.com i've got a fantastic fax starting off with number one dunn step, uh, steps down from chief financial role at gatwick airport gatwick airport chief finance Shaw office Nick Dawn has stepped down from the role in order to take up a new career opportunity with an alternative digital infrastructure to provide city fibre so good luck in his new job number two is uh, the door is open at Uh, Radis Hotel and Conservation Centre in Johannesburg or Tombo um, hope, and that's the latest hotel news and um, the new addition further strengths the Radisson's presence in one of its key African markets uh, South Africa and brings the South African portfolio to 16 hotels in operation and under development so well done to the Radisson and uh, Johannesburg and the Radis Hotel number three is a Madeira the island the Portuguese island is honoured with at the top world travel awards title the Portuguese Archipelago excuse my pronunciation has been in the news for its handling of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic making it one of the most appealing and safe ho holiday destinations options for people um, in the UK we're in a lockdown um, but again um, it, Madeira could be a, a good option um, either next month or in the new year or next year um, could be a good option to go because again they have um relatively low covid19 um so again it could be a, a brilliant option to go to so the uh, the island's done fantastic P portugal has as well and um again um I hope more people visit it in uh, 2021 now number four ja manu faro maldives reopens the following covid19 shutdown hotel news and um, so if you've booked to go into that hotel and um, then or the Maltese in general then um, if you take a look on that um, 
website of the hotel um ja manifaro and it should have details of when it's probably going to be reopened again and what covid 19 measures they have taken um number five um, and i hope it gets up and um, running as soon as possible number five world travel award reveals the middle east hospital are the hospitality leaders so well done to the middle east uh, for that and um, i get i hope to get uh, more hospitality in the future Number six, Austrian Airlines expands its OBB rail partnership. Wow, this is really good news for Austrian Airlines and uh, rail par partnerships, uh, train lines um, in the country and going to other countries. So really good news. Well done. I hope you get uh, more uh, people traveling and number seven is our city our very own uk city newcastle inside newcastle hotel has welcomed its first guests next month in De uh, december 2000 and 20 next month Meli Malia Hotels International has announced the opening wow of inside Newcastle of the 14th of December 2020 next month and um, it's a 161 room hotel has five curated meeting rooms wow this is really good for business and conferences located in the heart of a new castle city center located on the quayside offering breathtaking views across the river Tyne and an eccentric home to, from home feel uh, for business guests to meet in and explore the city centre it's also a short distance from newcastle railway station and international airport as well as walking distance to the sage conference centre so again it's seems to be a short distance if you're traveling from another country or if you're going uh, from the train station the railway station and um, so again it's it's easy to get to it i've looked at the hotel and it looks absolutely stunning it really really does and um, another thing um, with it being on the quayside um, it's also near shops um, and um, like river cruises and museums and all sorts or at least in walking distance um, it's also in walking distance to the sage conference center so that's another good thing especially if you're doing business travel uh, but again it would be a great hotel i think um if you're looking for a hotel that's in the city again i think this hotel in a newcastle city center inside newcastle will be a fantastic for business and um tourists and um, because again it's in newcastle city centre um again it's um near or in walking distance to attractions and business centres so again um it looks absolutely beautiful um so is uh, the hotel in south africa that looks absolutely beautiful as well um 
so again if you want to check out the prices then again go on to their website and it will show you how much it will cost to, to stay the night and um, number eight last but not least virgin atlantic to offer saint vincent service from next june 2001 really good news for virgin atlantic and saint vincent so um i hope the new service um uh, gets uh, people traveling with them and uh, to the island saint uh, saint vincent so i would like to say everybody thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next uh, video uh, which is going to be upcoming places to visit in 2021 and that's going to be tomorrow at half past six so please stay tuned for that i hope everybody stays safe and i hope everybody is as happy as possible in these difficult times and thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye